Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Edwards and I'm back for some more computer lessons. It's my turn again uh, to provide computer for the Virtual Learning Academy. This week is a really cool week in the computer world because it is Computer Science Education Week. And this week is really a good time to focus on teaching students the basics of coding. I know that when Ms. Brin was teaching you guys, she had you guys complete some of the Angry Bird tutorials for coding. And if you're a St. Ben kid, I know that we've done uh, some of those tutorials and more in the past. So this week um, on code.org, which is the site that I like to use uh, this week, they have posted some interesting um, information this week about artificial intelligence and the way that um, artificial intelligence and machines impact our world. And artificial intelligence needs to be programmed to work. So that's where the coding factor comes in. It says AI and machine learning impact our entire world, changing how we live and how we work. That's why it's critical for all of us to understand this increasingly important technology, including not just how it's designed and applied, but also how, how it works in society and its ethical implications on the world. So here, they have AI for oceans, help AI clean the oceans by training it to detect trash, learn about training data and bias, and how AI can address world problems. And we're gonna do that activity. I'm gonna post it underneath the video. But before that, let's talk about how AI works and an intro to AI, because it's important for us to understand what AI is before we do an activity. It says, with an introduction by Microsoft CEO, the series of short videos will introduce you to how artificial intelligence works and why it matters. Learn about neutral networks and how AI learns and delve into the issues like algorithms and the ethics of AI decision making. So the way that I explained this to some of the in-person students was, um, have you ever seen a movie with uh, robots or other types of artificial intelligence? Um, there's a really big debate on how much artificial intelligence can learn and how, how human uh, artificial intelligence can actually be. And um, you may have seen this um, in artificial intelligence that was created was Watson and Watson was created by IBM and competed in Jeopardy. Um, that's one example. Or then I also like to talk about the movies because a lot of movies that are created in, in um, the setting is in the future. They have uh, artificial intelligence. So if you've ever seen iRobot with Will Smith, that's a good example of um, artificial intelligence. You know, they make the, the robot droids and they start to evolve beyond what the programmers have programmed them to do. Um, so that is always in the back of everybody's mind. So let's hear from uh, Microsoft CEO uh, be before we go too, too far, okay? AI is the most transformative technology of our times. From precision agriculture to precision medicine, from personalized e-commerce to personalized education, and from connected cars to connected homes, it's likely you're already experiencing many of the everyday applications of AI in your life. In this video series, you'll learn how AI works and why it matters. You'll see how with AI, we can use data to train computers on just about anything. You'll explore how we can use AI to simulate neural networks in order to learn and how AI enables computers to recognize objects too. And importantly, you learn about the broad societal impacts of AI and how to guard against unintended consequences. 
It's inspiring to see what AI can do in the hands of change makers who harness it to address society's most pressing challenges. At the same time, we must ensure we build AI responsibly, taking a principled approach and asking the difficult questions, like not what computers can do, but what computers should do. I'm excited to see what each of you will dream and invent with AI and how you will apply this powerful technology to build the world that we all want to live in. I hope you enjoy this course. Thank you all very much. Okay, so that was a um, little intro into it. Um, we're also going to what is machine learning? Uh, we're going to go ahead with that one today. Uh, here we go. My name is Ale Flores, and I'm a product manager at Alexa. My name is Dr. Chelsea Haupt. I work at the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence, and I work on an AI-powered academic search engine. All around you, computers are making decisions, and those decisions affect your daily life. When you do an internet search or scroll through your newsfeed, computers decide what you see. Computers can already recognize your face and understand your voice, and soon they'll be driving cars and detecting diseases even better than humans. So how is any of this possible? You may have heard about something called AI or artificial intelligence. True artificial intelligence is decades away. There's a type of AI called machine learning that is here today. It's a type of AI you probably interact with every day without even knowing it. And it has the opportunity to help us tackle some of the world's biggest challenges. So here they list them. Um, when your text auto completes itself, uh, video recommendations. Yeah, so when you're, you may be watching YouTube videos and you get the pop-ups that say, here are similar videos that you may like. Um, voice recognition. So I know even I have Alexa at home and just the other day they said, they asked my name because they said they'd like to recognize my voice in the future. Uh, tr transitional apps, digital assistants, so Alexa, Google Home, uh, Siri, if you're an Apple user, email filters, okay? So these are all um, of the big challenges, and it all relates back to uh, finding a way that machine learning can help solve problems or improve things and make them better. Machine learning is how computers recognize patterns and make decisions without being explicitly programmed. What's so exciting is that it's a completely different way to program a computer than what we've ever done before. With machine learning, instead of programming a computer step by step, you can program a computer to learn just like you learn, through trial and error and lots of practice. Learning comes from experience, and that's true for machine learning too. In this case, experience means lots and lots of data. Machine learning can take in any kind of data, images, video, audio, or text, and begin to recognize patterns in that data. Once it learns to recognize patterns in the data, it can also learn to make predictions based on those patterns, like noticing the difference between an image of a car and an image of a bicycle. AI and machine learning are playing a bigger and bigger role in society at large and shaping all of our futures. That's why it's so important to learn how it works with some hands-on experience. Remember, AI is like any tool. First you get the knowledge, then you get the power. All right, so next time, uh, next week when I record our video, we will watch um, some more of these. Uh, they are ones that are computer vision, ethics uh, that go along with them, um, 
training data, and bias neutral networks. We'll watch those next time. So what I'm going to list for you underneath this is the activity. So uh, when you get into the activity, uh, they do play the video again, so you can choose to watch it a second time, or you can continue and uh, you can skip the video and go straight to the activity. Uh, the activity will prompt you, and if you follow along with uh, this, it will take you step by step. You complete all the steps in the activity until it says, I'm finished. Okay, if you want to watch the videos uh, throughout the activity, you can, but uh, just know that we're also going to be watching them again together as a class next week. Okay, so I'm going to provide the link. I'm going to copy it right now. And uh, the link and the video that I just recorded right now will be available on your, your team's classroom. Okay, so I will see you guys um, next week. And I hope you have a great day.